Hi there, this is Ronnie coming at you with a video. Uh, on Sunday afternoon I completed my scenario Dawn of Thunder, which was my first attempt to GM a super game. 30 odd years of GMing, never did it, had never done a super game before. I was using Savage Worlds and the Super Powers Companion. Um, and yeah I like Savage Worlds anyone who's seen my videos recently will say that I've you know will realize that I've I've kind of fallen for it and there are a lot of games I've uh, running at the moment have run and Savage Worlds seem to fit quite nicely not sure that's quite true with supers however caveat one of the reasons why I had held off doing supers for so long is that I didn't think I could get the tone right. I was going for something, so that I, I guess they would call it four colour. Um, very sort of, you know, heroes. And I'd actually started it by saying it was a superheroes game. And by the end of the sort of second session, I was pretty much calling it a supers game because the players were just you know heroes what's that we're just survivalists with powers um i don't know if superhero games are a fit for me i'm s i'm certainly going to give it another go i mean i've i've left the the, the scenario where it can be gotten back to at a later point. Um, overall, I think it, the players enjoyed it, I think. But um, it may be that as good as Savage Worlds is for a lot of things, it might not be quite good for supers. It may be just me. Um, I'm kind of tempted if I were to run a super from the beginning again I'd be tempted to look at something like Mutants and Masterminds um, I did have wild talents at that point but I just couldn't get my head around, around character creation I'm getting old um, so yeah, I mean, the, 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 it was what, six sessions? Six, seven sessions? Um, and it all took place in one day. I mean, it was just a running battle for seven sessions. Um, which ended with them sort of taking out the sort of main villain. Um, the intention was to capture him, but they ended up killing him. So um, they now all certain favours which are going to get called on, called on in the next scenario um, so yeah it was it, it was a good scenario I think I just couldn't find my rhythm uh, which is not a problem I'm having with other games other games I'm I've sort of found my rhythm with um, even with Savage Worlds, uh, I've run sort of fantasy and, and sci-fi with, and it just it clicked along beautifully. But um, supers, no, it didn't quite it didn't quite grab me. Um, I don't know whether that's that's a genuine failing on my part, although it probably is. Um, you know, obviously it's a f failing on my ability to actually run the system. But also uh, a failing by me uh, really not grasping the concept well enough. Um, I found a lot of the powers, I mean there's a hell of a lot of powers in the Superpowers Companion. Um, and there's quite a depth to them but trying to eke out 
exactly how you would create a particular character if someone has a very particular idea for a power in mind trying to sort of eke out a power I mean obviously it would come down some cases I think to creating a new power um, so yeah it's it's um it's not perfect but that might just be teething issues uh, just just with me not being well hung I'm, I'm, I'm having similar it's not as bad with the uh, cyberpunk game I'm running um, again I'm a novice in running that genre but I'm enjoying uh, I'm enjoying running the game I'm finding my rhythm with it where I couldn't with uh, supers so just a quick video from me um, I hope to be back soon with a few uh, reviews and so on so thanks for watching and catch you later.